guys. So today is Thursday, October 15th. I have clinical tomorrow and one thing I like to do before I go to work and make sure I definitely do before I go to bed the night before clinical is to make sure that I have my uniform out because when I wake up in the morning it's just nice to know that I can shower and just go put it on and I don't have to hunt for everything and try to find everything so I am getting that already right now. I do work later today so I probably won't be home until 11 30 midnight and I do got to get up at five o'clock. <laughs> So I always make sure that I do put this out beforehand because it saves me a lot of time. All right, so this is my stuff uh, ready for tomorrow. Um, I just set it on my dining room table. So when I do get home, I see it and I remember I have clinical tomorrow because <laughs> I do get home pretty late. So over here I have my clinical bag. I will go through this later. I know a lot of you guys have been asking what I do keep in there. So I plan to go over that. But I set out everything the night before. So I have my watch, I have my socks that I'm gonna wear, I have my underwear, my sports bra, and then I have my uniform here. I am such a freeze baby, so I always wear like long socks and I wear a long underneath shirt. And then this is our new logo, which I'm, I love it. This is our old one, but I need to do laundry. So I'm kind of wearing mismatched stuff tomorrow, but that's okay. And then my clinical pants, aren't even my college issued. They're by Cherokee Workwear. They're the Fit Flex ones. I just got home from work. It's about 11.40. My goal is to be in bed before midnight or by midnight. That way I can get a full five hours of sleep. This was an early night for me. So, and I do this about three nights a week working at the restaurant, but it's financially worth it for me. Ooh. So that's why I do it. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. got dressed in my Chamberlain blues. I showed you guys this last night. It's currently 5.30 right now. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and put on some mascara and do my eyebrows. And then I have to pack my clinical bag too. This is like an unusual day um, for like a what's in my clinical bag because I am packing some things because a group of us is going to study for our finals after clinical. The hospital that we have clinicals at is actually the hospital that I work at too. So I'm super familiar with the area and they have some like really nice study spots and just kind of like hangout spots. <music> I'm leaving my apartment to get coffee at the Duncan, of course, and head to clinical. I'm leaving a little bit early today because I got up a little bit early because I gave myself more time to make sure I could record what I wanted to record this morning. For only getting like less than five hours of sleep, I actually feel pretty good today. I did stop at Dunkin and I got some coffee. My go-to order is a, um, I was gonna say tall, a large cold brew with almond milk and pumpkin. And if it's not fall, I normally do vanilla, but I always do almond milk because that regular milk just hits me the wrong way. <laughs>
o'clock we're on our midday break and we have something interesting to talk about. She had a Foley bag that was full and it was full of like urine, How, blood. The Foley bag probably held over like- It was like 7,000 units. 7,000 milliliters, milliliters yeah. of fluid. It was just, I couldn't believe, it looked like a huge balloon. So Lindsay went to go drain it. We had three cylinder, graduated cylinders ready. At, Thinking that that's gonna be enough. That, well, no, we were gonna <laughs> empty them as we go. And the thing, she goes to pinch the top. So spill out but there's too much pressure the whole thing exploded <laughs> so nursing student so problem there, it's just flowing out really fast so she's filling it up <laughs> she looks at me she's like i want to need more graduated <laughs> so oh i God, sprint to the closet <laughs> i sprint to the closet i'm grabbing some we run out so i run to the room next door let me you know you did back, all that yeah i ran back to, i ran oh. back and i grabbed more but <laughs> And yeah, then Austin comes and grabs me. He's like, Emma, I think we're going to need yeah. some help. I was like, uh, I don't know if we broke this or, or Lindsay. Uh, I she broke probably, it. Both, she yeah. probably broke it. No, but, but also it with the pressure probably broke it. Like no, I can't, was, I don't think you did. Did I do the same thing you did? If I would have just, just poked it with my finger, it would have popped. Yeah. I feel like. Was it full to the top? Mm -hmm. Yep. Very full. I don't think the bag could have expanded anymore. But the patient, the patient wasn't urinating that much. We, they irrigated his bladder too. So that's why there was a lot of yeah, fluid. Yeah. Even when we emptied it, I noticed like after we were cleaning it up, it was yeah, already he, like a quarter of the way filled up. Yeah. He's on a, yeah. from that time mm -hmm. it was filling really fast. He's on a continuous irrigation from what it yeah, looks like. Catholic. That is insane. That's weird. Nursing student props. Hi guys. So I am hiding right now to give you an update but I'm so excited because I just put in my first Foley catheter in on a patient today on a real patient so also I got to see an IJ removal which is the removal of an intrajugular line in somebody's jugular I'm like hiding to try to give you guys an update but yeah so far today is so good it's currently 2 30 we're about to go to lunch soon and then we'll come back on the floor and we're typically on the floor until like six o'clock so yay first foley insertion <laughs> clinical is currently over. I'm in the bathroom as you can see, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I also got in my first IV today too. So I got my first Foley catheter insertion and my first IV insertion and it just made today so much better. This is my uh, week seven out of week eight clinical. So I have one more clinical for adult health and then the following week i will start my mental health clinical which i'm super excited about that too but now i can say that i have gotten a foley and an iv insertion done i feel like those are the two main nursing skills that you have to do <laughs> to feel like a nurse and this is probably like the highlight of this clinical honestly because i just feel like i'm almost there so i'm super excited but I have a final next week, so I'm here with some friends. We're at a kind of study area in the hospital, and we're gonna study and prep for our final, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that I did it, and I'm so happy and so excited. Oh, I did, I'm just so happy. <laughs> to my car it's 8 30 almost nine o'clock today truly is today look i'm out of breath and i only walked three flights come on Emma.
So I just got home from clinical. Today was probably one of the best clinical days I have ever had. I am like elated. I'm in this like awe of today. So today I was able to do my first Foley catheter insertion as well as um, an IV insertion. My professor, my clinical professor is absolutely amazing. She literally will go and hunt for stuff for us to do. And if we find something fun to do, she is more than willing to come do it for us. So today was amazing. The best clinical day ever. I want to close off this video by showing you guys what's in my clinical bag. I know I promised this at the beginning of the video. So here it is now in my uniform, in my side pocket here, I have my stethoscope. What I have on me is more interesting than what's in the clinical bag. So I have my stethoscope. I have some pens and highlighters. My AirPods. I do walk in and I like listen to podcasts and stuff like that. This is a Chamberlain University lab bag. When we just started our fundamentals bag, we were issued this lab bag with a bunch of stuff in it like Foley catheter kits, Dover piston syringes, um, NG tubes, all of that good stuff. So now I just turned it into my clinical bag and I like that I'm repping my school. So I have my um, scrub jacket. I always get cold. So I always have an undershirt on, like a white undershirt, my scrub top and a scrub jacket because it's easier to take things off than it is to like put things on. So that's essential. Like I mentioned earlier, today was an unusual day because I did study afterwards for a little bit so I brought my laptop normally I wouldn't bring this because I I'm not really going to need it unless I plan to study afterwards but I always 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 bring some type of study material that way if there is any downtime in clinical I can review things so I brought my ATI med surge book I love these ATI books because you can flip through them, look at certain disease processes, and since I am in med surge now, this is amazing because, I, for example, I had a patient today that had some type of renal issue, so I was able to flip to the renal section and read about complications, medications, what you would do surgically for this type of patient. So that's why I have a book. I also brought my key points. I did show you guys how to make these in my last video. Um, I did use this to study after clinical. And then I have my clinical folder here. In here, honestly, I just have some notes and some case studies that we have done in post-conference. I also have my notebook. Um, and then I have my clipboard. I got this on Amazon. This is a really awesome resource because if you can tell, it has all of these helpful things on the back side. So it has uh, conversion factors, the QRS complex, your lab values, normal ABGs, injection sites, that kind of thing. And then I have some blank brain sharks. I'm still kind of finding which brain sharks I like. Um, it depends, honestly, with what day it is, if I'm passing meds or if I'm not passing meds, if I'm looking for nursing skills to do, it totally depends. So I guess this is like the fun stuff. I don't know. It's just like the rest of <laughs> what's in here. So I have this little, little bag of just like extra stuff that I find in my pockets. So in here we have an IV start kit with an IV a flush, pelvidine iodine sticks. I have some adhesive wrap, the chloroprep. Um, I have some lancets with like some badge things that I could put on my badge if I wanted to. Some more flushes. Oops, I should probably return some of these. <laughs> um, I have some oatmeal too. I have some tampons. Um, I am a lady, so these come and help there. Um, I always bring my Pepto with me because I have a super sensitive stomach. 
and I feel like I'm always having some type of stomach issue, so this comes in clutch. So now for like the essentials, I have my deodorant, some chapstick, eye drops, because I do wear contacts. I have some scissors, my pen light, and my bag full of extra pens and my goggles that we have to wear for clinical, but I just go like that. So yeah, now I can clean out my clinical bag and organize it up for you guys and for myself. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, a day in my life, nursing student clinical edition, whatever. Um, this was super requested, so I figured since I am starting my channel, I should give you guys what you want. If you want to uh, contact me or see more of my life and journey through nursing school, you can follow me at Emma the Future Nurse on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.